Hello, everyone. 大家好。啊，我们今天很高兴参加中国和谐企业创新服务重新组织的这个中欧创新合作论坛。呃，让我们介绍我们的公司。啊，我们非常感谢。I hope it's fine if I make my presentation in English. 呃、uh, ，I am Nino Gran, and I'm responsible for China marketing Neverwin. 呃、uh, ，as I know, time is limited. I will try to reduce the presentation as much as I can. Uh, for that, we'll be following this agenda, where we will quickly go through which one of our products.、Uh, I guess you might be wondering who Neverwind is.、Um, well, as its name reads,、uh, Neverwind is a Spanish、uh, company located in Pamplona, one of the biggest wind energy hubs in Europe, who develops new wind technologies with the purpose of both reducing the cost of energy and fixing problems that are limiting the growth of the industry. The the main business model of Neverwin is to supply turnkey or APC projects for each of its products. However, for Chinese market, we're very flexible in this way, and we're willing to explore different models of cooperation and with different players within the industry.、Uh, let me show you a bit of our team and our current projects all over the world. So most of our engineers and top level management have a wide experience in the wind industry, as they previously worked for the world's leading wind turbine manufacturers. Um, here you can see some of their achievements throughout their careers. As you can see, they they have quite a few. <laughs>、uh, the first product I'd like to introduce is our modular blade, named as Neverjoint, which、uh, we believe is a great product for Chinese market. It is showing a graph that shows the tendency of how rotor diameters are becoming bigger and bigger. So this leads to a huge challenge of transporting blades. For those who don't know. A、uh, rotor diameter is approximately the sum of two blades' length.、Um, in addition, Chinese turbine manufacturers probably have the biggest、uh, blades' length in the world.、Um, to overcome that problem, we've developed Neverjoint, which is basically composed by a by a mechanical joint、uh, located at both sides of the blade.、Um, these joints are connected through a spacer,、uh, which is a system that allows the connection of both threaded inserts. Um, yeah, that's basically our spacer, and、uh, it's important to point out that、um, there's no need to make any modifications in the original manufacturing process of the blade, so it can be adapted in a very flexible way to which blade manufacturer. It's also very scalable, as、so、we can adapt the the metric of the bolts depending on the desired distance from the tip. So the further the distance from the tip. The more cost savings we have by using bigger metric bolts.、Uh, overall, I would say it's a very cost-effective solution, as there's a small, a small amount of elements.、Um, therefore, we come out with a super light and reliable solution. Also, the assembly process,、uh, which is carried out on site, is super fast.、Uh, our second great product for Chinese market is our high tower called Narrow Lift. Um, before going deep into it, I'd like to show you this map, which shows the needs of going higher in the range of five megawatt turbines, which is the current state of the art in China.、Uh, the red points of this map show the places where wind speed is lower. Is lower,、uh, therefore, it makes more sense to go higher. I believe it's very interesting how all the area between Beijing, Shanghai, including the provinces of、uh, Hebei, Shandong, Jiangsu,、uh, and even some places down in the south. Are suitable for this kind of technology, as you all know, due to the high numbers of population and industry all over these places. The the demand of electricity is huge.、Um, for that, we've developed、uh, high tower technology,、uh, which has been、uh, certified by DNV as the highest tower in the world.、Uh, as you can see in the picture,、um, it's composed by a by a standard tower tower. Followed by a by a transition piece, which allows the transfer of horizontal loads into vertical loads, as it's connected to a lower frame structure composed by modules and a through legs foundation.、Uh, actually, this allows a huge reduction of loads compared to to other solutions.、Uh, so once the transition piece is assembled after the foundation,、uh, the upper tower, the nacelle, and the rotor. Are assembled on top of it, and after that, we self-erect the rest of our frame structure from the bottom to the top.
by using our self writing system so we can avoid the, the use of huge coins. Um, for, the, for the foundation part, uh, we have four kinds of solutions. Uh, however, our standard solution is format tiles uh, where we drill holes on the ground and that allows us to save up to 70% of the total cost compared to standard gravitational foundations. And uh, we can also provide foundations for poor soil conditions, such as the Ankara Rock Foundation, uh, which is very suitable for bedrock surfaces, and the uh, Multipile Foundation, uh, which is very suitable for low being conditions, such as super soft soils, which are mainly close to the shore. Uh, well, as you can imagine, the, the main advantages of narrowly of narrow lift is the well, I would say is the cost reduction of energy uh, because of very convenient logistics compared to other solutions such as um, such as the concrete towers, as um, as very few trucks are needed to to transport a whole tower. Um, there's no need of using big cranes, so the assembly process is cheaper, more simple, and faster. And uh, it's also very scalable since it can be adapted to, to a wide variety of turbines up to seven megawatt. Uh, after the, the development of never lift uh, transition piece, we noticed that, uh, that we could use the transition piece uh, as an elevated foundation. And that's how our next product, Navarbase, was born. Uh, I will not in, I will not stop in this product uh, as I'm running out of time and, and I've already explained the benefits of the foundation for Neverlift, uh, which are basically the same as uh, Neverbase. Um, but the main point to focus uh, in here is that the, that the advantages of Neverlift foundation can be used as well for for lower wind turbines. Um, for our last product, uh, I like to say in context of the of the current uh, of the current trends of the of the market before showing it to you as well. Uh, so I'm showing this graph, uh, which shows one of the main costs that's co cost that company that companies in charge of operation and maintenance are facing nowadays, uh, which is the use of cranes for replacing major components uh, that need to be changed or fixed. Uh, in our case, uh, we will be focusing on blades today. Uh, as you can see here on the graph provided by, by Wood Mackenzie, around 5,000 blades have to be replaced per year by using cranes. And this number is expected to grow over the years. Um, because of this, uh, new technologies which avoid the use of uh, the cranes have been coming out recently. And this is the case of our Blade Runner. Um, let me show you a, a video of, of our Blade Runner. So, um, yes, you can see uh, it's a system that allows the replacement, installation, and uninstallation of blades without the use of big cranes. And uh, it basically consists of a simple jig that is attached to the root of the blade and that is hoisted from the hub, as you can see in the video. Uh, we also use a small crane so we can set the, the blade in a horizontal position and place it on the ground to make uh, whatever repair has to has to be done. Um, well, as you can see here, uh, logistics are super simple as the whole system uh, can be transported in a small van. Uh, operation time is also very fast. Uh, a whole blade replacement can be done within three days, including the installation and uh, an installation of the runner system. And uh, apart from that, uh, very few technicians are needed to carry out the, the maneuver. Uh, we, also, we also call it a attachless system as we attach the system to the root of the blade, which is usually, uh, well, actually the, the safest part of the blade to be attached to. And by that we avoid touching the shell of the blade, which is a very delicate part. Um, the system can be used both in onshore and offshore, and it has no limitations as it can be adapted to, to any blade length or any blade uh, weight. Um, well, that was everything from our side. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, feel free to, to contact us whenever you wish. Thank you, everyone.